This resource was co-designed with service users and family carers to complement the great checklists. Make sure you have these checklists to help you work through the resource. They may be accessed on the Engage website and the HSCQI website. There are five sections to this resource. Each section relates to the five parts of the great checklists. The scenarios demonstrate the good and not so good ways that we have involved people. Each scenario is based on real life experiences of service users and family carers. Hello James, how are you? Great, how are you? No, I wish I could say the same. Oh dear. Why? What's wrong? Well, I've just come out of the meeting and I'm furious. Why? What happened? Well, they've asked me to help with this quality improvement work because of my experience. And I've just come out of the first meeting and it was awful. I felt so stupid. Why's that? Well, for a start, I didn't have any of the papers they were discussing. And any that I did have were only emailed to me late yesterday afternoon. And when was your meeting? 9am this morning. Oh, jeepers. That is cutting it fine. I mean, that doesn't give you any time to find a replacement carer. Oh, that's not on. Well, to be fair, it's not always like that. Yeah, but it's enough to matter. So, what did you do? Well, what else could I do? I stayed up late into the night making sure I had read over everything that I needed to, but I felt I couldn't read it enough in the time that I was given. Mm, I know that feeling. And then halfway through the meeting, the chair asks me to comment on something that I wasn't prepared for, and I didn't have an adequate answer to. I felt an absolute idiot. Look, I'm sure it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. Yeah, but it shouldn't be happening at all, should it? I mean, we should be having papers well in advance of meetings. We need them to read and to study to make sure we're prepared for the meetings. That's the way I need it to be. I felt an absolute idiot in there. And did you tell the chair that? <sighs> tried. But it's hard, you know, when you're the only carer sitting in a room of professionals and they seem so on it. And you don't. Yeah, I know that feeling too. And then when it came to the next agenda item, I didn't have any papers for it. I was scrambling through, searching for them, only to find out later that I wasn't even sent them. I'd been left off their list. And why was that? You tell me. And it's not like I hadn't asked for them. I mean, I'd been on to them twice, requesting that they be sent out. And did you raise that with them? Yes, I did only to be told that I should have raised it with someone earlier. But how can you raise that with them if you don't know that you should have got them in the first place? Exactly. So we're supposed to be psychic now as well, yes. I can't tell you how mortified I was. Oh, and then one of the staff on the way out of the meeting uh, said, listen, don't worry, you did fine. I get left off lists too. And then made light of the whole thing by saying, oh, maybe they don't want you to know too much in case you ask too much or, or, or you know too much. Yeah, I mean, it was meant as a joke, but I wasn't laughing. Yeah, I have staff do that to me all the time. They're making light of things and I'm trying to make a serious point. They may not intend it, but I come across as really patronizing, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's not what I thought I had signed up for. But then again, no one really made it clear what I did sign up for. But surely, you know, getting right information at the right time, that's a given. It certainly is. Look, I really think you need to talk to somebody about this. Let them know how you're feeling. Crikey, I've got to dash. I have to get back and let the sitter go before 12. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Let's hear how Stephen feels and what lessons we can draw from his experience. That was a particularly bad meeting with a not so good chair. In fairness, it's not always like that. The last bit of work I did with the trust, the chair was so good. She met me prior to the meeting. She made sure I had everything I needed. She was very clear in explaining what was going to happen and she gave me the opportunity to ask questions about what was expected of me. She also explained all the abbreviations because they were double Dutch. 
The chair also introduced me to the great checklists for service users and family carers. And we went through each of the main areas and that helped me to be much more capable and confident, as well as useful and valued. So a key message from me is when you want people with lived experiences of your services to help improve your services, please use the great checklists. That way you get so much more of an equal partnership and that's what you want, isn't it? It's what we all want.